Maria Wynn, Chief Executive Officer, Leadership Greater Chicago. We are a leadership development organization. We focus on the civic space, so we develop the next pipeline of civic leaders. We do that by taking a cohort of upwardly mobile 30 to 45 year olds that come from the not-for-profit, government, education, and corporate sectors, and we put them through a whole learning course of socioeconomic issues over a period of a year. We come in for one, one time a month, and we immerse them in issues of community, economic development, housing and infrastructure, race, um, crime and violence, education, healthcare. And at the end of that year that they spend with us being exposed to leaders, being exposed to different experiences like going to the police academy for training and going out on patrol, we expect them to go out and change the world. So the greatest challenge in the current assignment that I've experienced is a challenge that I was hired for. I was hired to come in and be a change agent to transform the organization. And that comes with all the challenges that are normal to anybody that is charged with come in and take us to the next level. So changes in culture, changes in um, response to the environment, uh, visibility of the organization, structure, all of those things have been part of the challenge, but that's what I was brought in to do and that's what we're doing. The opportunity that I'm most excited to take on over the coming years is to continue to develop the pipeline of civic leaders. And that's not limited to one sector, that is really across the line. Any organization will need to take a look at how they're developing their leaders and as we continue to develop as a society with the, with the want and the need for purpose, I think the demand for becoming more involved in the civic space is going to be increasing. The nice thing about being involved in a civic leadership development program is that you begin to connect with areas of uh, not only your, your city, your organization, or other organizations in ways that you might not have ever thought of, and at the same time, really taking a hard look at where you can make a difference. I think one of the strongest indicators of a strong business culture are the people. If you walk into a place, you can feel when you walk into a place, are the people motivated? Do they look forward to coming to work? Um, do they know what they're supposed to be doing on a daily basis to make the contribution that they'd like to make and that the organization needs them to make? So I think a great gauge of whether an organization is successful is their people, their culture, and then, of course, excellence in execution, which is really manifested in um, not only the process line of the business, but also the, the, the level of people that they bring in and uh, the passion that people bring to being excellent in their job day in and day out. The leader of tomorrow is really the leader of today. And that leader is really a leader that is challenged today with the speed of change. So um, agility is going to be really important and continue to be really important. Um, executive agility, an ability to see around the corner, to be able to take a look at trends and connect the dots. Not only the data dots, but also the, the shifts that are happening that need a little bit of intuition and EQ. Um, so, uh, being able to um, understand how the environment around you is changing is going to be important. The leader of tomorrow, again the leader that we're seeing emerge today, is a leader that will be a collaborator. And a collaborator that is um, not afraid to share um, the responsibility for founding an organization. So they'll have more of a co-founder men mentality. They'll also need to be entrepreneurial. And that doesn't mean that they need to be an entrepreneur, but they will need to um, look at their, their assignment, look at the, the role that they have with, um, with an eye on innovation, an eye on resourcefulness, and an eye on responding to changes in the environment. So the leader of tomorrow is pretty an exciting leader because they will have to be more of a corporate athlete than, the, than they've ever been and uh, ready to face um, changes and turn on a dime in a way that brings people around them and um, has followership. Thank you.